was in the summer of 2013 when as a five-year-old, I heard for the first time the story of the famous Indian mythological treatise, the Ramayana. As a kid back then, it was nothing more than one of those bedtime grandmama story. However, close to a decade later, after I entered my teens, my perspective on Ramayana has taken a complete paradigm shift. Ram stands for goodness, and Ayan means journey, which means the journey to goodness. With all its virtues, values, and ideals embedded in its characters or these situations, I now consider it as a panacea to all my problems, be it interpersonal, societal, or geopolitical. Now, I'll narrate the story of the Ramayana in a nutshell. Ram, the eldest of the four sons of King Dashrath, was married to Sita and was destined to be the king of Ayodhya. However, fate had some other motives, and due to an evil plan hatched by his stepmother in order to make her son, Parat, as king, Ram had to go to an exile in a forest for 14 years. His wife Sita and younger brother Lakshman accompanies him to the jungle. Sita is kidnapped from the forest by Ravan and taken to Lanka, his kingdom with her intention to marry her. Ram, with the help of apes and bears, is able to build a bridge on the treacherous Indian Ocean and reaches Lanka. When an epic battle follows between their armies, Ravan is finally killed by Ram and Sita is freed. They return to Ayodhya, where Ram is anointed as the king. However, Ramayan is much more than a simple story of Ram and Sita going to a forest and Ravan being killed as was just narrated by me. Ramayan epitomizes self-belief and righteousness. Many values are embedded in the Ramayan, like the love and devotion Ram feels towards his parents, the sacrifice of Sita and Lakshman, the persistence this persistence of courage and of Ram and Lakshman and the friendship between Ram and the apes can be learned from this legend. However, these values don't only come from Ramayana or Indian mythology, but many other cultures as well. In fact, a few days ago, my Chinese teacher told me about the story of Chang E flying to the moon. This story epitomizes love and sacrifice, which incidentally are also the pillars of the Ramayana. The story of Ramayana, or that of any other mythology, embodies timeless values and inspires us to broaden our consciousness from me to we. The journey from me to we was relevant at that time and is relevant during contemporary times too. Today, when the bilateral ties of India and China strands at crossroads, there is a need to look back and draw lessons from the glorious history of cultural exchanges between the two great ancient civilizations. As Ramayana was an example of universal harmony and responsible social order, the same should be the guiding principle to improve upon the relations between the two countries. In this current scenario of diplomatic constraints and unrest, the Ramayana can teach his basic values of unprejudiced leadership and ideal brotherhood. At this critical juncture, the Ramayan, the two nations should adhere to the values of inclusion and peaceful coexistence as was espoused by the Ramayan. As it is rightly said, the present is always the reflection of the past, and hence one should always learn from these mythologies. Society and nation will grow sustainably if we inculcate the value systems taught by these mythological treatises. Thank you.